Well, now let's try and find out a bit more about the man who is leading the World Championship on Michelin's. Kimi Raikkonen, the liveliest young lion in the pride. The 23-year-old Finn gives nothing away on the track, and so far, anyway, even less off it. Louise Goodman got up close and personal with Raikkonen and his fan club. Kimi was a big hit with fans who attended his autograph session in Montreal. Some came to meet a real racer. Okay. Thanks, kicks and ass. Others, frankly, just looked a little bemused, and one or two obviously had other reasons for wanting to get close to McLaren's pint-sized pin-up. There you go. What do you think of him, then? He's very, very cute. <laughs> You've seen him before? No, this is the first time I actually see him in real, uh, real so I'm very excited. <laughs> I think most people consider driving a racing car at breakneck speed as a pretty scary experience, but I get the impression that you find facing a room full of autograph hunters even more daunting. Is that right? I don't know. It's part of the work, and uh, it has to be done, and uh, it's not such a big thing. And then half an hour, if you make more people happy, it's always a good thing. I was chatting with some Finnish fans recently, and, and they said that um, you know they were like extolling your virtue and said, we love him, he's a fantastic racing driver, but he's very quiet. Can you get him to talk a bit more loudly? Do you get a lot of that kind of thing? Oh, I don't know. People always try to change you or make you maybe different. But in the end, you 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 gonna be what you are, and that's it. You don't wanna be, or at least I don't wanna try to be anything else than I am. And uh, otherwise, the life will be really difficult, and you're not happy anymore. When you joined McLaren, I guess it was inevitable that people were going to make comparisons between you and Mika Hakkinen. And does that bother you? Uh, no, I think so. It's normal if you go in a team where, where your countryman, a double world champion, has been. They're always going to compare you. Mika always had a very good relationship with Coulthard. How do you get on with David? We find okay with teammates. We don't have anything else uh, or any friend relationship outside of racing, but. Uh, we don't have anything against us, and uh, we, we just try to build each other always. But that's normal as the team as the, does, and uh, we, we, we don't have any, <laughs> any bad things to say about each other. You've had a much better season so far than David. Is that just a matter of luck, or is it because you're a better driver? I don't know. It can be both, but uh, it's so difficult to say. Sometimes this goes quicker in qualifying, sometimes me, and then I think so qualifying decides pretty much this year what's going to happen in the race. But uh, the first two races showed to us that uh, we can really fight for the championship. Do you actually think about winning it? Oh, you cannot really think anything else than, uh, than that we try to win it, because if you're leading in halfway of the season, you, you cannot say that, OK, we want to finish in, in third place or somewhere. Of course, we can want to win the championship, but it's going to be difficult and hard, but uh, that's racing, and we do our best, and hopefully we come out on the top.